Hello my friends, this is Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. Welcome to my channel and welcome to Hashtag Tag Tuesday. I will tell you more about that during the video, but that is an open collab hosted by me. And everyone's welcome to join in and I'll tell you how during the video. But today I'm working on some tags and what I did for my TV craft the last week or so was... I showed you the bird book that I got from Amazon. I will link it below, actually, in my Amazon affiliates. And uh, what I did was cut up the book, the whole book. That's what you're supposed to do with it. <laughs> it's for making ephemera. So here is my pile of uh, little pieces from the bird book. I cut them all out, and there's a lot. But it's kind of like reminding me of my... A design team days when I was always cutting up the design team project digital kits so yeah if you don't like cutting up digital kits you won't or pieces like I mean it's not like I didn't like it and I don't want to use these it's like it was a lot <laughs> so and I didn't want I just wanted to do it all you know I wanted to get it all done and ready so um, I'm not gluing everything down right now like I'm leaving these all as paper right now without backing I mean they have I can use them as they are they all have the book comes with all the backs like this they look like they've been coffee dyed so that is really nice but I want to the reason I want to use you know leave them like this without any backing right now is in case I want to glue them down and it's easier and sometimes you won't want that even though say uh, a little bit of card stock doesn't add that much bulk really but sometimes you just want to glue a paper, a piece of paper down and not cardstock, if you know what I mean. So all these are going to go into a little, uh, you know, organizer zipper pouch or something that I have. And I'll put them with my ephemera. They don't take up too much room. They're all cut out and ready to go when I want a bird. So <laughs> there I go with the birds. And so these I did, whoops, there's one more. I did put on backing because I'm working on the Hawaiian cookbook journal which I showed you yesterday where I was and at, we did a few finishing touches and my flip through is tomorrow but uh, these are some that I that were in the book that were shaped like tags uh, this one wasn't this one was just a little kind of rectangle but a big like almost square so it was I cut off quite a bit off the edges to make this one into a tag and so I glued that paper down with my art glitter glue onto file folder which I recycle. I have lots of file folders from my office that they're, they were used and they were done with. And so I bring those home and I cut them apart and use the pieces I can. And a lot of times they're good sized pieces. So I have a lot of file folder uh, cardstock. So I glued it down here. Like you can see, this is the file folder. This is the side with the bird. And it's nice and solidly glued down. I don't need any I don't need to sew it like I feel like it's very sturdy and not going to come up or anything and that's the good thing about our glitter glue you know you can trust it or at least I've been using it for a long time now so I feel like I can trust that and my fabric tack so that's why I don't usually use a glue stick but uh, if you wanted to just for looks you could sew around here too and if you wanted that extra security you could sew around there but anyway because this would be pretty sewn around but I did not so you can see it's kind of like, can you see how it's kind of curved? That's from the glue, just kind of doing its thing. So uh, what I do when I when it's like that, you can put it in a book or something, or just go like this. Uh, usually it just will straighten itself out if I just do this. They kind of just, I'm not making a crease or anything. I'm just kind of folding it back like that, bending it a little bit, and then it's pretty flat. You know, it's not like. But if you don't want to deal with that, you can put it in a book and then, it, then it'll be flat again. But just a matter of working with it a little bit. See, now it's, now it's pretty much flat. Let me see. Let me hold it in the camera. There, yeah, there you go. <laughs> so, uh, so all of these are ready to go. These were, like that one I said, I cut into a tag shape. These were tag shapes in that book, which another thing I liked about the book is how this is kind of collaged. It's got like dictionary page here in the back. It's got a little postage stamp, the bird. This is exactly how it was. I didn't cut anything off of it or add anything to it yet. So I cut it out. Like I said, it's got those pieces collaged in the background. Plus, 
it looks like it has stitching on it right here and some coffee staining. So really neat little pieces. I'm glad I got the book. So uh, yeah, here, I'll just show you real quick. All of these, they're all glued down. I'm gonna add toppers to them today during the vid this video, but uh, I just wanted to show you, you, go, you get all of these. These are not, I didn't, you know, you can't make copies of that I think, or anything. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. Here's one that I wanted to put in the, the journal that I'm making the Hawaiian cookbook journal because look, parrots, beautiful tropical macaws, macaws. It says blue, something red, I think it says red and blue macaw <laughs> there at the top. And so, yeah, I wanted to, I was like, I have to put this in the journal, you know, because look, I mean, hello, <laughs> it's so tropical. It was so perfect. And then I have all of these. And so some a few of these will go in there. I want to pick out the brightest colored ones. This one I wanted to go in there because it's uh you know, it just looks like it belongs to in a tropical journal too with the with the I know these bird I think is that a crane? I think it's a crane. It probably says down here at the bottom. But anyway, my parents still live in Florida. I'm from Florida. My parents still live in Florida, and I know these birds are all over the place. But, uh, and you, it doesn't have to be a, tro I don't think it has to be a tropical climate, like they'll go up north for the summer, maybe, but uh, this, the, these are at my parents' house too in Florida, so I felt like it was a nice bird to put in my Hawaiian journal, and hopefully they're in Hawaii too. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that one's ready to go. These are ready to go. I'm not going to add a topper to this one. Uh, this one did come with the white frame around it, and I think this one needs a little ink, just because. Uh, so let's do that, and that one will be finished and ready to go into the journal. And I might put these in the goodie pack because I have um, already put ephemera in the, which I showed you yesterday. I didn't show you the ephemera, I just showed you how packed it was <laughs> because I put a lot of... I don't think I put too much in there, but I put as many pages as I could in there and I filled the pockets with things and I feel like I don't, I feel like I shouldn't add any more. So whatever ephemera I add now is going into the goodie, the goodie packet, the goodie bag, whatever. So that, that one is done. Oh, let me show you with the ink. It does look better because it has that white border. Nothing's wrong with the white border, but I just felt like it needed something there. So uh, let's do this. I think this one needs ink inking too. Sorry to do so much inking here. It's just, I'm just doing, you know, I'm just doing stuff. <laughs> I'm just finishing and, you know, real life crafting here. So, uh, I'll, you know, I just look at a piece and I say, oh, well that does need, it either needs some sewing, like I just said, like this could would really be pretty with some sewing or it needs some ink. It was just such a stark kind of looking uh, border around here. So I think that since I don't feel like I don't need to sew on here and I want to finish it right now, I think that the ink will give it that finishing touch that the sewing would give it if I was sewing on it. So there we go. That does look better. Okay, so it's still not done though. Let's see. I have some trims here to add to these. I have this one. This is a list of little kind of a scrap ribbon. This is some orangey ribbon, which of course I think is tropical. I've got some little yarns here I could use and uh, oh, a blue one. This also is like a scrap uh, seam binding, some light blue. And I have some, uh, this is eyelash trims in here. So I think I'm going to use I think I want to use the orange one on here just because he needs, I think he needs some color and he's got an orangey beak and, beak and an orangey type. His, his legs look orange too. So, <laughs> go. oh, I have this one too. It's kind of a tangerine or lighter, almost yellowish orange kind of satiny ribbon. So if I don't want to go quite so bright as this orange here, I can use that one. So quite a bit of uh, ribbon and I thought for for this one, like these have holes in, you know, the book had these holes already, so I'll use those holes. But this one, uh, you know, I said wasn't a tag in there. It was just a picture 
a rectangle or yeah kind of like a rectangleish squarish picture that uh, I wanted to make into a tag because it would be perfect for this journal and I didn't want a big piece this is a small journal so I'm going to use my slot punch on that one which I believe I have my slot punch in my Amazon affiliates too because someone asked about it but uh, that will be in my description box I'll check and make sure it's there so for the for the slot punches I've been just stapling these on so I don't want too big of a of a piece of ribbon here let's do it like this and I've just been this size ribbon fits perfect through if you didn't see my previous video where I showed you my slot punch and was using ribbons like this I just kind of poke it through like that and and you can put something here if you want to cover up the staple I'm not worried about it. you can put a flower or a piece of bling or something but I'm not really worried about it uh, I do want to cut this one more time and put a more of an angle there so I'm gonna just do it like that and put a nice little neat little staple right there let me get this this is kind of I want that flat as possible it's kind of trying to roll up on me there we go okay now it's flat I've got my ribbon in the position I want it whoops that is not my staple where is my staple <laughs> Staples right here. I didn't have it. I was thinking it was here, but it wasn't. Okay, let me just grab this over here. I want it to be like flat there. And get it. The top of the staple should be on the top, and the bottom two prongs should come out the back. Uh, I think it's good there. There we go. Okay, and then if you don't like the staple showing, you can put something there, and I might put something there, a little flower or something that would be pretty. Maybe before the video, I'll try to grab it, but I want to put a little bit of an angle right here too. So let's do that. I could grab my flowers real quick and go put a flower there. There, isn't that pretty? Uh, let me grab, because it looks like it does need something there, doesn't it? It could use that's a big empty space there. Let me grab my flowers. Hold on. Uh, these are my Prima flowers. I bought the tower. Whenever I bought these, I found them on Amazon. I will link these. And they come in. They come in this plastic container. All of these flowers. So I have lots of flowers, and I added some in here too that I had got from Dollar Tree like this one right here that came from Dollar Tree and I coughed it there it was white and I coffee dyed it but uh, I want some color here but see a little flower would be cute let's look for a flower that is not too big but uh, would look pretty on here any flower would but oh here's a pretty green one down here let me grab let's see what this one is this would be really pretty oh not next to the orange though it looks a little weird let's let's grab a different one that's a little bit I don't know I that's not doing it for me <laughs> it's not the size it's the color against the orange let's see let's see let's see here's one with some white and blue I didn't realize how weird it would be against the orange can you see that right here you can see it uh, let me let me keep going here I might have to do the white one Let's see, let's leave that out for option. That's a brown one. I could do two layers too. I do do two layers sometimes. Like I'll do a, let's just say that green one. Because I thought that would look good, but it was a little bit too bright. But something like that, you know, that would tone it down. I just don't like that green against this green, that like Kelly, this bright like Kelly green here. So let's see. How would this one be with two flowers? That would be okay. Uh, let me just see what else I have here. Uh, oh, here's a pretty one. Let's see how that would look. Oh, it does. Doesn't look great against the orange. That orange is tricky too. Here's another white one. 
How about two layers of white? That would be pretty. Do I have any orangey flowers? I have a yellow one down there. Let's see. I hate to dump all these out, but <laughs> if I if I need a flower, I need a flower. Hold on. Let me see here. I'm going to pour some out. This purple one is pretty. Let me grab some out. Here's a yellow one. That's not that's too small though. There's a there's a yellow one down here. I'm looking. Oh, here's a hold on. I might have found the perfect one. Right here. Look at this. Alright, there we go. That's more perfect. And then a smaller one on top of that. And there we go. Perfect. That will be perfect. And that one, the Dollar Tree one has a pearl in the middle. So that's a nice finishing touch. Yes, that's gorgeous. Okay. I'm happy now. <laughs> it takes a minute sometimes, right, to figure things out. Okay, so we're going to add, let's see what we've got here. This one it doesn't have anything on the back. We're going to add some Fabri-Tac to it. And this is going with the journal, so let me get this going. I'm just putting glue right in the middle. The petals cannot be glued down. They don't have to be glued down, I don't think. So like that, and that way we cover up our staple. Not that you have to, but this, like I said, was blank, a little blank here too, like it needed something. The Dollar Tree uh, flowers come with that little foam sticky piece on the back, so a lot of times I'll just peel that off so I can get it flatter onto whatever I'm gluing it on. Most of the time I end up pulling that off. So I'll put a little glue there, a little, put that down there, and there I go. Perfect. And we'll need to let that dry, but now, isn't it pretty? Very pretty. Okay, let's put that over there to dry. Now, let's see if we can finish up and move my flowers out of the way. So all of these have the hole in the middle. So, let's get my hole punch, which is right here. Sorry, i got to reach over to my box. And let me move my prima a little bit over here. And so we're not going to be able to do all of these, but I'm just, let me, let's pick out a couple that would go with the journal, actually. Because I said maybe like three. I mean, I would put all these with it, but they don't think they really all go. So that one has a pretty bright color to it. This one too looks like almost like, I don't know if it is a tropical bird, but it looks, with the colors, it looks tropical. I just don't see the name of it. There's no name of that one there. Oh, that's the same bird there. So uh, yeah, let's go with those two for the moment. And then we'll punch this hole. I like how it has like a reinforcement already printed on there. So hole reinforcement. I'm going to try to get that hole punched just exactly where it is so that, there we go, so none of the white was showing and it looks like there's a, it looks like there's a real reinforcement on there. So, I'm going to line my hole punch up there. There we go, again, nice. And these are, these need to be flattened out, so again, we're just going to do this. I was, I just literally, literally took these out of my living room where I was, <laughs> where I was cutting them out and putting them on cardstock just now. So, and so they, I did not, I, I should have thought about it, put them, maybe put them in a book overnight, but I mean, this works just fine. So it's not like they really needed to be put into a book and flattened out. They're fine. Okay. Let's try this here. This little satiny ribbon. This is going to be really pretty. I just need to make sure I get a long enough piece and put that in there. I always put the loop in first now. I didn't use to, but I do now because I like the way it looks, the way it turns out. If you put the loop in, I put the loop in from the front and then put my ribbon through the loop, pull it tight, and you have a nice little... Uh, you have this in the front, this little flat piece, instead of 
having this in the front. Not that it matters, but just what I like to do. Either one could be in the front. It doesn't matter. It's just what I like to do. Okay, and that looks really pretty. Simple, you know, thing to do. Cut this out, glue it down, and add a pretty topper. And then I always, I like the, I usually try to have the back blank for writing space. That's, and then you could ink this further. I don't think it needs it, but that one I'm going to say is done. Okay, so we used that. Let's see what colors we have here. I wonder if we could use some of this. This is more of a reddish. It's got some red in there. So here's some pretty red yarn. All right, it's not reddish. It's like almost a brighter color than this bird. I don't know if that's a robin or what, but let's just see what this yarn does here. Uh, I think that would be really pretty on there. And this actually came from my friend in Happy Mail that lives in Hawaii. So, and this journal is going to someone that claimed that, you know, said that they would like to purchase it, uh, that used to live in Hawaii. So isn't that, isn't that a small world type of thing? <laughs> this came from somebody that lives in Hawaii and it's going to someone that used to live in Hawaii. There you go. <laughs> it was meant to be oh, this is a really pretty yarn oh I gotta use this in a tassel I'm gonna use these in a tassel too so but there we go that is gorgeous that yarn look at that yarn it's got little uh, you know it's not flat it's got little things on it so pretty yeah there we go that one I'm gonna say is done so uh, we have a minute to do a couple more here Let's see if I can find one to use up some of this because I haven't used that yet. A little um, something that needs a little color. So like this one here. Let's see if we can put it on here. And then maybe we'll use, uh, find one for the bright blue. And you can of course add things to these too. Why do I keep picking that up? <laughs> That's the wrong hole punch. Because it's right in front of me. That's why. So uh, let's see. Line it up, line it up. Let me flatten this a little bit because it's messing with me as far as being able to see the hole. Okay, now I can see better. I feel like I can. Hopefully I can. Just trying to cover up the white part with the part that's going to punch the hole. Okay, now let's. we're going to use this one because I would like to use this up. A little kind of not very much here. And uh, see if we can get this. This is a little thicker ribbon, so I actually I will have to see how it goes through the hole there. Let's see if it will go through the hole and tie me a little loop without being too bulky. Got a little bit of a rough edge there. Let's cut that off. Okay, and this will add some nice color. So on something like this, a little bit thicker ribbon, uh, let, we're going to see if it works, but if it doesn't, we'll try something else. Oh, I think it might work. Okay, not too bad. All right, all right, it's going to work. It's just have, you have to be careful too when you're pulling it through so you don't tear your, tear right through your uh, whatever, your tag or whatever. Okay, I'm going to pull one at a time very carefully because you know it's just a stronger you have to pull harder on it to get it to uh, pull up there and if you're not careful you can tear right through whatever you're putting it on okay there we go that adds some nice color so I was going to say you can always add of course add things to something like this and like a flower so I don't know if I'll add one right now, but say I wanted to put a flower here. There's a postage stamp there, so I don't really want to cover that up. And this is a big blank area right here where we just have text. And we've got the orangey kind of, uh, it's kind of peachy orange <laughs> ribbon there. So let me see my flowers here. There's a pretty flower with lots of colors, but it's, that might be too pink. But see, I could put a little flower right there. Let me find another one that looks, here's one with a lot of orange in it, so it's probably too orangey, but 
let's just see real quick. There's one there. Yeah, all these came into in the Prima flowers. Here's one with some blue. Uh, anything with that would match the ribbon. Let's see. I've got another bright orange here. I've got white, of course. There's some whites in here. Here's one that's a little darker. A little darker. It's just a little. See that? That's kind of like really kind of orangey, but I think it looks nice. But with that, again, I could do some layering. So let me see what would look good under that. Maybe a white one. I hate to keep going to the white, but if it works, it works. Maybe something like that. Or, I don't know, I think that's too much. Uh, what about, <clears throat> here's a nice big one. See, something like that. I don't want to, if I use that, I would want to put it up here. So, that is pretty though, isn't it? Maybe we'll put that on the top of one of these. Uh, let's save that there for the minute, for the moment and still maybe use this. You could even put a smaller flower behind it. Like, that will show. Let's see if this would show. See the little blue one? A little blue behind it. That's pretty. Or you could do a triple layer. Let me see if I have, let me see, uh, let me see this green one. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> I just don't know if I want it there. <laughs> so I think I'm going to leave it for now, but you get the idea with those flowers. You can do a lot with them, layer them two or three together, use them as a decoration on the side. I'm just cutting off a little bit of fraying there. I might cut that with my pinking shears on the top. Let me grab those. Things you can do. So in order for this to stop fraying, it doesn't have to stop fraying, but if you want something to stop fraying, usually if you cut it with your pinking shears, that does the trick. So there we go. And that's what it looks like with the cut with pinking shears. Okay, I'm going to call that one done. Let's do one more because I want to see if I can put those flowers on the top of a couple of these and see what they look like as the toppers. I didn't really plan on that because I didn't know I was going to get my Prima flowers out. So this one has a big opening on the top. And I think this this little bird here has a, see it has kind of a rust colored head. So that could go on the top of that one. And this one's too big for that. So let's find one, this one right here. This one is kind of open for something on the top, so we could put that there. And then uh, there's some blue in the stamp, but really no other color down here. So we've got kind of a bluish in there. Let's see what other color might look good on top of this, just uh, to finish this off. Oh, let's put a, there's a little tiny flower. And that's a little bit too bright blue. Uh, purple because we've got purple there that's a brighter purple here's one with uh, blue dots kind of blue circles on it that could work here is a yellow oh I like that right there okay that's it that's it there's some like yellowish green over here so let's glue these down and these two will be done Grab my fabric tack here. Uh, let me make sure my time's about to run out on my timer. Let me make sure I I uh, have that muted because <laughs> it can be a little loud. That's what happened yesterday. Because I just the timer doesn't have any sound to it, but when it's over, it has like a little music at the end telling you your time is up. Okay, so this how are we doing this? This or like this? I think we're doing it like this. And that's what's happening right now anyway. <laughs> I forget how it was. But this will be cute. We'll finish up with these two and I'll show you real quick what we did. So yeah, these, um, 
I had seen these Prima flowers for a long time before I bought them because I didn't know where they came from and I didn't know what they were called and finally I saw someone that actually used them and actually said what they were. <laughs> finally, like after like a year, it was like forever before I figured out what they were. Because I was like, every time I saw them, I was like, I love those flowers. And then finally somebody said what they were and I, then I was like, okay, I'm going to go look for Prima flowers. But y'all don't have to look for them because I'm going to have them linked below. And just as a reminder, my affiliate link does not cost you anything. It just gives me a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit of commission. And uh, if you want to participate in Tag Tuesday, all the instructions will be below. Just link my channel, subscribe, and, uh, you know, use the hashtag. There we go. Here's what we made today. We made more than I thought we would, really. We made quite a few. So aren't they pretty? Uh... Tell me which one is your favorite. I think they're all my favorites. <laughs> they're all prettier in their own way, you know. Look at that. Look at that one. This, this, this might, be my, might be my favorite because I don't know. I just really love that one. And But they're all really awesome. All right. Thanks for watching today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the tags, and I'll see you in my next video. Have a great day.